Okay, so this is the Broadway color section. I picked up one buttery matte lip cream. I was looking to see what else I wanted. Um, I saw there's mascara, eyeshadow palettes. Oh, I'm going to pick up one of these BB creams in this shade Light Nude. It's only $4. I'm interested, I'm interested to see how it wears. And then I, I wanted to get the Summer Cheek Palette, but it was sold out. So... I couldn't get it. And the other one was a spring cheek palette and it was just a little bit more lighter. Ooh, I'm going to pick up this nude LA Colors Block Eyeshadow Palette for $3. So I just got what I could because I am on a budget. So bear with me. Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Today it's an exciting video. I'm going to be testing out Dollar General Makeup. So the BB cream is in light nude. It's a satin matte finish. Okay, guys. So the BB cream, the consistency is a very thick formula. So I want to see how it wears on my normal to dry skin. And I think I got a good match, but we'll see. And it didn't have a bad scent to it at all. And it was a little bit difficult to blend. So yeah guys, as I was blending, it was difficult to blend out, but it was doable. I really had to tug on my skin in order for it to blend out, but overall, I like the way it looks. Um, it turned matte right away, and I like the coverage. For it being a BB cream, it has pretty good coverage. It covered up all my acne scars, covered up all my discoloration. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow palette from LA Colors. I really like the colors, the warm tones in here. And let's just see how they swatch and how they apply. Okay, so the matte shades were difficult to swatch. They came out kind of patchy. The shimmer shades were okay to swatch, but let's just see how it goes. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with that shade right there. It's like a light brown color. And I'm just going to take it with a what I want to crease brush and I'm going to put that, I'm just going to blend it over my crease area. Yeah, I always like to start with light colors and then I gradually grow and I make the colors darker. So this color came out very, very light. And yeah, but I did notice that it was buildable. It was just a very light color. Okay, so next I'm going to take that kind of light peachy orangey color and I'm also going to take that on my crease and I'm just going to put it over top from the last color that I just used so yeah this color I also noticed that it was very very light and it really had to dig into the pan and a lot there it had a lot of uh, fallout in the pan and I did have a little bit on my face as well but I really had to dig in and to get any color payoff So yeah, I literally had to dig into the pan like five or six times, but it is buildable. So I'm not complaining because this palette was only $3. Other than that, I have no other complaints. I like that the colors are buildable. Okay, so next I'm going in with that like light cranberry shade. And I'm going to go in with the same wet and wild crease brush. And I'm sorry guys, my brushes were a little bit dirty today, but I promise I'm going to clean them. Um, yeah, I usually clean my brushes like once or twice a week. Nothing crazy. So yeah, I'm going to take that on the crease and I'm just going to blend kind of underneath from the other color that I put in the beginning. And I'm just going to darken it up a little. Overall, guys, I really like the way the look is coming out. So... So next I'm going to go in with that color underneath the other one. This is like a more darker cranberry shade with a little bit of shimmer. And I'm going to take that again with the same wet and wild crease brush. And I'm going to put it all over the lid and on the outer corners of my eyes. I really want to darken up the look and make it kind of like a brown cranberry smoky eye. I really don't know what I'm going to do but I'm going to make it work and I'm going to make it look good. So let's just see how it turns out. 
Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this darker shade right here. So I really want to use all the colors in this palette just to see, just to test it out and see how they wear, to see if they're, if they blend out good on top of another. And actually they did. So yeah, I'm just going to take that darker shade, like a dark brown color, and I'm going to take it on the outer V of my eye and just blend, blend, blend. I really need to buy more brushes and I'm actually going to go out and buy some um because I really need more eyeshadow brushes so next I'm taking that other brown color it's like a lighter brown with a little bit of shimmer this is like one of the shimmery shades that was in the palette as well and I'm just going to take that over top of the other color and put it on the outer V of my eye so yeah, I'm really loving it, guys. For three dollars, I'm just I'm so impressed. I'm like, wow. It just goes to show that you don't need to splurge on a lot of money on a lot of those high end eyeshadow palettes that I've tried, and some of them are not that good at all, not for the price. So, you know. Next, I got this gold LA Colors Iced Pigment Powder. So yeah, I've used this before as well. I think this is like about 2 or $3 at Dollar General. And I really like the finish. It's more like a foil finish. But it's a very vibrant shimmer. And I'm going to just put it on the inner corners of my eyes. Like on the inner part of my eye. And look at that swatch. That is like a vibrant. That's, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to apply that with my fingers just to make it more intense. And then next, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I've literally used this so much, and I did get this at Dollar General. Okay, so I like to take a bronzer brush by e.l.f., and I take the contour shade, but I use it as bronzer, just because it's a color that's not too light and not too dark, so I love it for bronzer, and, like, there's no rules to makeup, so... I really love the way it comes out, and it blended really nicely over the BB cream as well. So that was a plus. Okay, so then I take the banana shade from the Wet n Wild palette, and I apply it to my under eyes using my beauty sponge. And I really love the way the banana shade just brightens up my eyes, and gives it a really good brightening effect without looking like too much and i didn't apply concealer just because when i wear satin matte finishes or a matte foundation i don't put concealer just because i have dry skin and it'll just dry out my skin even more so and i went a little bit crazy with the contour shade but i will fix it up by blending it right now <laughs> So now for blush, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. And I'm going to be taking the dark pink shade for blush. And I'm going to mix it in with the shimmers. And I'm just going to apply it with my blush brush by e.l.f. And I love the way it just gives me like a natural glow from within. And it looks very, very pretty on the skin. I love using this palette. So now for a highlight, I'm going to be using the other color Strobing Powder in the color Champagne. And I'm just going to apply that with my Morphe highlighting brush. And look at that, you guys. I love the way it gives me this glow from within. And it looks very, very natural. But you could build it up. It is very buildable. And it. I'm just so impressed because this applies just like one of my drugstore highlighters. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with those two cranberry shades, and I'm going to mix them in together using a smudging brush by Beige Cosmetics, and I'm going to take that to my lower lash line so I can finish up this eye look. Overall, the LA Colors Nude Block Palette, I really like the way the colors are buildable, and you could do a subtle look or you could do a dramatic look. It's really all up to you, and for $3, you guys, I am so shook right now. And I'm so impressed. 
So I also picked this LA Colors Mineral Press Powder. I like going in with shades like these to give myself a little tan and just to give my face some life and color again. And I'm just going to blend it in with my Wet n Wild brush. So now I'm going to go in with the Stay Matte Prep and Go Setting Mist by Rimmel London, my favorite at the moment. So now for lashes, I'm going to be taking the LA Colors Demure Lashes. Okay, wow, I really love the way the eyelashes came out. They looked very natural. They looked like they looked like they were my natural hair and they were just $1. Okay, so now to finish up this whole entire look, I'm going to be going with the Butter Matte Broadway Colors Lipstick in the color Hoping Spring. And doesn't it remind you of the NYX Butter Matte Creams? I was like, what? I'm going to see if they perform the same. And I really don't like the NYX matte lip creams. They kind of wear off really, really fast. So I'm really excited to see how this one wears. The color is beautiful. I really love these colors. And I think this color is perfect for summer. So as I was applying the lip shade, um, I found it to be very, very buttery, just like the packaging says. And But I did have to go in with two layers just to give that extra pigment. And But it, it wasn't... Uh, when I layered the colors, they didn't cake up or anything like that. So I really enjoyed this lip cream. So this is a completed look. I really love the eyelashes and I love the buttery matte lip cream. I think those two were my favorite. And I love the way that everything came together and... It looks just beautiful and so let me know what y'all think down below. The Buttery Matte Lip Cream did dry down matte but it feels buttery and smooth and it feels hydrating. It doesn't feel dry at all and so yeah I'll be back in a little bit to check in so y'all could know how the makeup wore throughout the whole entire day. Hey everyone so it's been about seven hours later i applied my makeup at about 8 30 in the morning and right now it's 3 30 p.m i took a nap so my eyelash kind of lifted a little bit but other than that the bb cream held on very very nicely right now i look a little bit oily but nothing the little powder cannot fix i really like this uh, bb cream but it's more like a foundation because it was like a medium coverage covered up my acne scars um I know a BB cream is supposed to be light coverage, but this one is like, is this one is medium coverage in case you were wondering. And the highlight is still on, it's still there. The buttery matte lipstick, I really enjoyed this one. I ate lunch, I drank coffee, I drank water, I ate um, my breakfast, and I haven't reapplied at all. And this is the way it faded away. It faded away, it left me like a little tint. It faded away very nicely. <laughs> It doesn't even look cakey, it doesn't look bad at all, and I like it better than the NYX Buttery Smooth Lip uh, lip Creams, because this one, well the NYX, the NYX Buttery Matte um, Lip Colors, they actually fade away and they come off, but this one did not come off, it just let me a, a, like a nice little lip stain, so I was like, no wonder they were sold out at my local Dollar General, so... Go ahead and buy one of these. You need these in your life. They're only three bucks, so you can't beat that. The eyeshadow, I really like it. It's still on, and the eyelashes are they're nice. They look very natural. They don't look like fake. They look like they're mine. They're very very thin, so they look like it's like my natural lash hair. And the yeah, the eyeshadow, I was so impressed because you could build it up. It could be very, very subtle if you like. I know some people like that. Or it could be like this, very dramatic. But yeah, I really enjoyed the Dollar General products. Tell me what y'all think down below. Are you going to go purchase some of these products? If you do, let me know what you get. And that is it for today. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.